Hello and welcome to Libra's Cafe here and the Hourglass where I'll be serving you clear, simple, refreshing, useful, energetic insights on themes, trends occurring in your Libra life. Welcome everybody. Welcome you beautiful souls, you star seeds, tarot lovers, ladies and gentlemen. What's up Libras? This does not only have to resonate with your Libra sun sign, but your moon, your Venus, your Mars, your Mercury possibly your rising um north node yeah and i guess that's about it right yeah so let's hop into it uh welcome all cross watchers so i went ahead and took the liberty libra to bang out these two cards i wanted to like really sit with them and um it has a lot to do with the new moon in aries tonight yes it's a new moon new moons is all about creating new beginnings it's a clean slate it's a time to you know put your dreams into motions plant those seeds those intentions now aries you know it's like red hot mars energy right that burst of that spring energy as well burst of energy we have the spring equinox that we're going through right now it's a spring awakening for a lot of things not just us humans but every living being on the planet now it's a fertile time for some of you as well it's a time for organizing it's a time for you know uh developing some type of discipline or structure so it's all about what's new libra new cycles new ways of beings new beginnings relationship friends or even possibly people possibly possible people now before i came on camera I like to take showers, so I meditate a lot in the shower. And I mean, Beyonce Halo just keeps ringing through. That part of, about, I got my angel now, and I saw like the tower with the moon card. So I don't know if it's somebody's having a breakthrough tonight or somebody's gonna have a breakthrough tonight, but that halo keep ringing through. Any which way, um, I wanted to also talk about this new moon in Aries uh, activity or ritual tonight. Now you could either go into nature if um, your uh, government or whatever the rules or regulation is in your area at this time. But what I advise for you guys is to do some type of powerful chair, a scream, you know, cause we wanna take all of that um, heavy or stagnant or stale energy out of our bodies, Libras. So wear some red, for this week, you know, you're not going nowhere but to the store or where you need to be. Like me, I have a couple, um, multiple actually doctor's appointments. So I'm going to be wearing red myself. So you could do this while you're exercising. Just take a deep breath in, inhale deeply. And from your pit of your tummy, from your solar plex, give out that loud scream, that loud, powerful chair. Because we want to get all that stale energy out. You do your new moon rituals. Uh, with your bay leaves, your intentions, set those intentions safely. And yeah, so let's jump into the cards, Libra. The first card we have here is a win-win outcome in the fore forecast, full moon Libra. So, ooh, some type of balance is coming in. It is advising us, Libra, to let go of anything that's falling away. All right, see each person through the eyes of love and it will change your perspective so have a little bit more understanding now i'm not saying to let you know the wrong people get away with the wrong shit. i'm not saying that just have some type of deeper understanding for why people are behaving the way that they're that they are don't let it affect you it's time for you to make a very firm decision, Libra. So part of the new moon in Aries is about difficult choices and it possibly has to do with your family or friends. You may need to emotionally detach to actually make that happen for some of you. A lot of raw qualities of initiation may be coming up because again, that Aries energy is like a fireball, um, daredevil, so that you may feel someone trying to initiate coming on red hot to you look after yourself libra but try to avoid vanity <laughs> ah, now is a good time for a makeover as well so now that you have extra time on your hands you could give yourself a personal spa date at home get your mani or pedicures on the wraps get it tight get the hair tight <laughs> all right so let's talk about uh surrender to the divine so it's encouraging us libra 
as a community, as a whole, that we're going to get the answers we need through surrendering to the divine. Um, whatever wishes, whatever blessings that you put out there is going to come, come through, not true, come through. Um, so it's going to make, or it's going to be a make or break time for a lot of us. So maybe that's why I envisioned, um, the tower card, because it's like a breakthrough is going to happen here. Now, you could sense some type of madness in the air. You could feel the anxiety. What's happening in the news and around the world could be triggering a lot of you guys' um, mental issues as well. And you have to like keep calm. And if it's not working for you, don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Reach out for help if it's coming very severe. It's coming too heavy for you to handle at this time, Libra. All right. Forgive someone that you need to forgive and let it go. Like I talked about that negative, heavy energy that you re that you may need to release through a powerful chair or a scream tonight. All right. Let go of the past and move on because it's all in the divine hands as well. And I think that's about it. So let's hop into some more decks hey Libra. So that halo song keeps ringing kind of loud. I'm going to put it on a tiny pause. So pause. All right, Libras, I'm back. So yeah, um, a lot of what's going on right now in the world with the epidemic, the pandemic, or whatever you want to phrase it, um, it's going to trigger a lot of us uh, mental issues such as panic attacks, suffering, you know, mentally, anxiety, PTSD, you know, all of those things OCD may be triggered at this time. But like I said, please don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. If it's getting too heavy for you, please reach out. Um, it has many different, um, things out there that you could reach out and receive help. All right. So let's jump into the romance deck Libras. I'm definitely feeling this new moon in Aries. I have, um, Aries rising. So I'm all about that fire. <laughs> I'm all about that fire. I have a lot of placements in Sagittarius as well. So yeah. But it's all in moderation. So let's see what's popping with your love, Libra. Some of you are really um, looking out there for new love, new people to come into your life. And I get it. I get it. But there's a strong possibility that you may reconnect with someone from your past as well. All right? Because after all, the cards are promoting you to see people, see the people around you through the eyes of love. All right? So let's see what's going on. Yeah, I wanted to, you know, pull those cards out so we have a little bit more extra time. <laughs> Tell me about Libra's love situation at this time, beloved. Attraction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Libra, you winning. It's going to be a win-win outcome because whatever you put out there, whatever trends that you set for yourself, I feel like this person really um, respects it, but they're very slow to... I wouldn't say like confront it, but also surrender to it. Also, the divine has things set up in a sequence where um, it's going to be beneficial for your safety as well. So try not to defy um, the laws. Hey, I was going to say the odds. <laughs> um, let's see if we get one more card. Okay, reveal the cards to me, beloved. Somebody's definitely attracted to your um, self-esteem, to the way how you're growing here, Libra. Reconciliation, didn't I mention that? Somebody's going to rec uh, recommit or reconnect with you. I heard recommit. So somebody's going to recommit with you, and it could be an Aries, being that we're in that Aries season. Now, um, it says here you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Stay in the present, Libra. Um, try a little bit of humor. Humor always works, right? So reconciliation, some of you, it's like, no, that's, a, that's not possible for a lot of you. But for some of you, you're thinking about the wrong person. You may be thinking about a person that you previously um, dealt with and it still has like a debris of heavy energy or tension between that person. For some of you, it's not that person. This is someone that um, you haven't seen in a while, possibly, like possibly ages. You haven't spoken to this person in ages. It was really good when it was good, but it ended. All right. This person still has a lot of passion for you and a lot of attraction for you. I feel like they reminisce a lot, especially lately. Oh, I got my angel now. <laughs> Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So definitely some Beyonce halo. Um, I keep hearing, um, I never really had a doubt. Remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they're tumbling down. 
didn't even put up a fight they didn't even make a sound i found a way to let you in but i really never had a doubt standing in the light of your hair look i got my angel now <laughs> i totally butcher that shit but you get what i'm talking about yeah this person is like head over heels about you like when you look at that video look at that video it's like the guy that played i guess he played in the movie also with beyonce but look at the way how that person was looking at beyonce in that video like he's head over heels about beyonce you know, he finds everything about her attractive. And I feel like this is what's coming through with this person as well. Libra, you are a person that wins. And this person, this person likes that. All right. But try not to be so much about yourself that you look vain because uh, Libras tend to be all about their looks. Or this person may be perceiving you as so good looking that they think that you are vain. Come on now. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> So let's see what's going on. Let's see what the key players here is, Libra. Remember, new moon in Aries is going to be red hot, baby. Red hot. Roy a lot of red. Invoke that Aries passion. For some of you, you need to focus, concentrate in whatever is making you upset, was angering you, angered you, frustrating, and you're going to visualize that. Whatever situation, whatever person that is, you're going to visualize that, and you're going to take that pressure, that vibe from in your tummy, your solar plex, and you're going to take a deep breath, and you're going to scream it out. Let that energy flow out. Send it back to the sender. We want to make new space, all right? Tell us more about the key players here, beloved. What are the key players here? The queen of swords, Libra, is that you? <laughs> uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So definitely, Libra, you're very open to this. You may be a Virgo, Libra, cusp. So you swing more to the Virgo side or you may be dealing with a Virgo that keeps their eye on you because they're so passionate about you. They're so attracted to you and they possibly want to come in. So this may be somebody that kind of like um, dampered your air or they brought you back down to ground or they grounded you in some way. I don't know. I just channeled that. <laughs> so you may be very welcoming or they see you as very welcoming or very... um intellectually open you have like an open mindset i feel like you're a person that puts a lot of things into perspective for this person as well so we have the ace of cups new movement here baby we have leo coming out here and then we have the ace of swords all right so we have a lot of ones that's going on here didn't i tell you we want some new energy we <clears throat> we invoking and we encouraging new energy out here libra so you're sitting there in your beautiful or handsome um, air like self. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like you have a lot of reason, reasonable skills or you have reasoning skills. And this person is attracted to that. You have a way of explaining life or explaining traumatic events where it doesn't alarm people, but it sets them straight, but in a calm way. You may also have a way of you know, sneak dissing people, but they okay with it because how you worded it, you know, maybe the, your tone of voice, Libra. I'm seeing a lot of clouds. So definitely something is coming in from the divine. I feel like because clouds are usually vehicles for the angels. So I don't know, or there could be some flying going on here, or somebody could just literally be head over heels about you, Libra. So let's talk about the Ace of Cups. What's going on here with this Ace of Cups? New relationship, possibly, or a new cycle, a new beginning romantically in this per in this reconciliation. For some of you, like I said, reconciliation is out of the damn question, out of the damn picture. All right. So therefore, you're attracting a new relationship, a new beginning, some type of new romance that's coming in very passionate. This person is going to be attracted to you. You may be very attracted to this person's strength. They may even go to the damn gym, working out, looking good. Possibly a Leo. <laughs> or a Leo wants to reconcile with you. They want a joy. They want that joy back. They could even want a daughter with you. We did see the Ace of Wands that I showed you guys. So one, one, one. All we're missing is that Ace of Pentacles. We're going to pray that that Ace of Pentacles come out because we want some new money. We want some new cheddars. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely feel like you make this person emotional. 
Wow. So they may have some new ideas here, or you, Libra, have some new ideas on how you would want a new relationship to look like. Um, so let's talk about the strength. I feel like a lot of people are looking at you as a very strong individual. It does says the queen of swords, but you don't have to be a feminine or a female. This could just be the way how you carry yourself that's going on here is very strong or you have this inner strength. Some of you, you know, you think like a man and act like a lady and it's nothing wrong with thinking like a man. A man thinks a man in his divinity is very clear on their purpose. They're very action oriented and they're very emotionally stable. So you may have the logic of a male, but you reason like a lady. And that's very attractive to this person, a quick thinker here. You're very quick thinker, a very, yeah, you quick, you think very quickly, my God, Libra. And you don't need anybody's approval. And that is turning somebody the hell on. You are winning, Libra. You are winning. But again, remember not to be too vain about yourself. And we do have some angels here that the Queen of Swords is sitting on. I definitely feel like they look at you as very angelic. Or at times you might have like this Disney aura or this Disney air about yourself. <laughs> But nevertheless, it's attracting new love. Some of you may be very skeptical about this Leo person or this uh, water sign. I almost said Scorpio. So you may be very skeptical about a water sign that's coming, in, coming on pretty strongly to you. And that's because you could be very independent, Libra. And that's something that you really need to like stand back and look at this person through the eyes of love like how surrender surrender to divine um encourages encourages you to do i can't speak today what is going on i feel like i'm getting ahead of myself or something here so with this strength card hmm yeah you have a lot of discipline or this person has a lot of discipline or there's a strong attraction magnetic attraction between the both of you and this person is exercising resistance. <laughs> they may they may notice Libra that you are a type of person that backs down or you um if you're a Libra king, you may be a person that does not really um fancy really dominant women. And this person may got get that from you. Maybe they try to put a move on you or did something there and it kind of like back you off or it made you very um, skeptical about this person. So it's almost like they're resisting the urge to come in full, full force. Again, this is somebody that wants to reconcile with you. If this is a new love, they may be just resisting the urge or having some type of self-control. Hey, um, or they're building their they're building their confidence to be brave to offer you this new beginning. This could be someone that you network with a lot, somebody that's online, or yeah. This could be even somebody at your job who misses you. This is someone that you could be spiritually attached to or connected with. <laughs> I don't know, Libra. I just heard that they want some throat or they want to drink from your cup. You know what song came to mind? That song with Chris Brown and Davido. I think that's how you pronounce it. I pronounce things differently from you guys. And it was, um, oh my God. And I have it on my playlist. And he was talking about, Chris Brown was talking about, I want to drink from your cup. Yeah, he wants to drink from the cup. He don't, okay, so Chris Brown was saying, I don't want to sip. I want to drink from your cup. I'm trying to steal your love, and I'm guilty of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. This person is trusting their instinct when it comes to delivering this uh, new beginning to you, Libra, or you may be needing to trust your instinct with this person. You make this person, like, you. it's like you send, like, a burst of energy or shock wave to this person. They may really like to do their hair. If this is a guy, they keep their hair really nice. If they have like a low cut, they have like waves on their hair. 
Libra and they may be looking at you as very dainty you may have like this baby face or you may look younger than what you actually are and they find that so freaking attractive like you just have that open you know you know when to have fun you know when to reason you know when to be serious you know when to reward it's like you're like full package but they see you so pure like all of this white they see you as highly spiritual or somebody that could give them a peace of mind or you overwhelm them with this spiritual type of love Libra, what is going on? And this is new. So if this is an old person or a friend that's wanting to um, take things a little bit more serious or a little bit more exclusive or solidify like a loving relationship, you take them there. Like so many songs is ringing through, but I'm not going to go all day. So this, per you may make this person feel very vulnerable or weak in the knees and they may have, or they may be resistant or not showing you just how, um, how dominant they could be because lions are very dominant, you know? <laughs> oh my God. You may be a challenging, you may be a sexy challenge, Libra. Y'all better stop. <laughs> All right. So Libra, somebody's up in the clouds and I feel like somebody is feeling like it's too good to be true or, or they're feeling a little bit naive. And with the Ace of Swords, it's almost like, <clears throat> it's almost like, it's like, it's like they need some type of clarity from you. They want to talk to you. They want to see if you, if you share the same passion as them or Libra, this is you to them. You want to know, you want clarity on the attraction and passion. Somebody wants clarity on the reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life, Libra. You may have known this from a while. I don't know, 11 months. eight to 11 months, you may have known about this, that somebody wants to come in swiftly as well, but they, they hold back or they want to communicate that you could feel, you could sense somebody wants to communicate tech by text message or online, but it's like they're resistant to release their truth or to surrender to the truth. Somebody may be resistant to surrender to the vine as well. All right. Somebody may be feeling like it's too naive that their dreams are coming true. And this is, in fact, not surrendering to the divine. I don't know. There could be a block in communication. Maybe you guys block communication or you guys, you know, gave each other a break and somebody had a huge transformation or you're the type of person to um, promote, encourage transformation in this person or in the pair group that you're in because I feel like it's not only this person that's watching you. I feel like you have like two individuals that's new and you have like two or one or more. I think it's two and two, two different people want a new beginning with you. They want new ideas. They want this new emotional beginning. And then it has another two that you, it's ex-formal lovers that wants to be back in your life. They miss the way how you present it. Do you, they miss the way how you brought balance to this person's life. Some of them may feel like you're an, an angel. You have like this soft look. Even if you're a Libra king, you look younger than you actually are. Somebody may, remember when I was saying somebody may need to seek medical treatment or medical help because of being triggered by the anxiety and any type of mental uh, concerns, you know, the Ace of Swords could talk about medical treatment, things moving too fast, or it's a lot of ifs and maybes about what's occurring in the world right now. And it's causing someone to, to seek some medical treatment or medical attention. Somebody definitely feel like this is a perfect, a great love. Uh, so what I just got, somebody did surrender to the divine, somebody that you had a past relationship with that had a lot of passion and attraction, but you Libra may have thought that it was just uh, superficial. You may think that this person is very vain. This could be a fellow air sign as yourself that carries a lot of Leo energy. Oh my God. <laughs> This person wants to be assertive, Libra, so you better get fucking ready. 
I just heard you better get ready because this person is trying to blow your socks off. You left this person or you rejected this person and they was holding on ever since that day. Tell me about the connecting card between Ace of Pen Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Well, we did see the Ace of Wands there, right? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. Now, this person, it could, you know, the Five of Swords could talk about wanting to win at any any means necessary or any way at any this person wants to win i just keep i keep hearing any means necessary and i heard make them believe now that's some kevin gates shit like that's the energy i'm feeling like i want to suck on your toes like this kevin gate energy you know how kevin gate could really be brash but he has like this soft spot for his wife he could be a real asshole. You remind me of um, Kanye West sometimes. Like, they be a real asshole to the, the general public. But when it comes to their family, they're like teddy bears. They're like sweet, always have that smile. So you may, you may recognize this person from their smile. They have like a yummy smile or a cunning smile, like a devilish smile. All right, so in the past, you guys, um, oh, no, for some of you, it's so many messages. Sorry, you guys. I have to slow down. Slow down, Chanel. All right. For a lot of you, this person has been watching you suffer some type of past relationship. This may be the new person that now wants to put you at ease. They, they're coming to bring you clarity or this is the past person that watched you walked away from them. They didn't do anything. They were left holding their thoughts. They held back uh, their truth from you, how they truly felt about you stepping away. Whew. Libra, you bring a lot of calmness to this person and they bring a lot of confusion but you had to walk away because what you offered, maybe they didn't want it at the time and you were tired of being confused. Maybe this person sent you a lot of mixed messages. They played a lot of mind games because they didn't have the confidence at the time. They themselves didn't know the truth about their attraction and passion towards you. But they think that you are their joy, the love of their life. And they feel like it's a win-win situation. Or you, Libra, you know that this is a win-win situation with a past person. And you're waiting on them to bring you the truth. You know they're resisting you. Yeah. You may have been waiting for this person to walk away from whatever situation they was a part of. Or it's a strong possibility because this is three people here in this, in this card. It's a strong possibility that somebody else came between the both of you. Somebody came in and caused a lot of confusion. Somebody came in and distorted the, the communication, the, the repertoire between the both of you. And it hurt someone. Somebody got hurt. And they had to walk away. They had to abandon the situation to look for something else that was more out there. For a lot of you, this person could have walked away from you or they watched you walk away out of their life. After you put in so much work, Libra, after you invested so much emotion in this person, they watched you walk away. And they were sad. But they didn't show you. They probably said, I'm good. I'm good. You do what you want, bruh. <laughs> but they weren't. They were sad. There's a tower I'm telling you there's the tower and there's the moon. I'm telling you, you guys, I vision this card in meditation in my shower, a breakthrough. Like things could have fallen apart between the both of you. One of those cards stated that you have to let whatever uh, is falling apart go. Whatever is falling away from you, Libra, you have to let it go. All right. It was a reason why you had to let this thing go, why you had to separate from this person, because the both of you may have ne had needed to go on your separate path to go through additional um, learning lessons. It's a strong possibility that the divine, the ethers, the almighty did not want you going through a karmic cycle with this person. They pushed them elsewhere to go through another lesson with someone else while you had your transformation. You may be a little smarter than this person.
Libra. This may be a Leo. That's all I'm seeing here is Leo and a lot of it. We have Scorpio. Then we have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. This may have been like an ongoing psych. I feel like this person is in love with you. Like it's infinity. Like it's always going, it's going, it's going. Oh, another Chris Brown song. So somebody likes Chris Brown here. So I don't know how to pronounce that artist, that singer's name, but it goes, um, boom, 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 boom. I, it, it won't stop. Boom, 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 boom. I'm so in love with you, girl. That's all I'm hearing from Chris Brown. It's some, it's featured with a different, with another singer, but I could only hear Chris Brown's part. Love when you pulling up in your Jeep. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, you guys. Looking up in space. Something. And I can't stop. No, and it won't stop. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of water here, too, as well. And that song was actually shot on the beach. That song was actually shot on the beach. I wish I knew the song. The artist's name begins with an S, Sylvia, Sarita. Oh my God. She has this nice chocolate complexion. Oh my God. So maybe you have a nice chocolate complexion as well. And this person may be um, almond colored or uh, kiss, sun kissed. I don't know. But like I said, I saw the tower in my meditation, in my shower. I saw the moon. So I definitely feel like this person may come back into your life at night. And I'm, I want to say that the change is going to cause some type of conflict or tension between the both of you. And for some of you, again, reconciliation is not in the picture. It's, it's not a question with this Leo because the tower already fell with you guys. The disruption already happened. The distorted foundation that you guys built or the, the false connection or false relationship that you guys built already came down. So this person may want to come back into your life after they had manipulate you or sent you a whole heap of mixed signals or mixed messages because it's like they realize that they have truly hurt someone that was put in their life to bring them some type of transformation or you just bring a lot of balance to this person's life, Libra. Yeah, this person know they made a bad choice when they did what they did to you and you abandoning the situation. They may have felt very sad and you, they may have act like they didn't care, but they felt like it was the right thing for you to do. For you to let go. Some of you, it's like you, you reach a limit, you know, with this tower card coming here. It's like you reached a limit with this person and it, you felt like you could no longer grow with them. Yeah, I feel like they jeopardize this whole connection with you, Libra. And it's because they didn't want to surrender to the to the divine. You may have been way ahead of them in this game, Libra. And now it's like they want to offer you some type of truth about how they truly feel about th this deep love that they feel for you, this true love. They want true love, a new beginning in true love. But they know that you had to let go. And it's like they may have had to let go or walk away too because of how confused they made things to kind of like develop some type of emotional strength. So this new moon in Aries, if it's a Leo, that's their sister or brother sign, however they say it. So that means that moon is going to definitely um, turn up the heat with that person. Now, if this is a lunar person, like they into the moon, they into... um you know, their intuition, or you guys are intuitively connected, you guys, they're going to try and s surprise you because the tower could talk about surprise as well. This person ha could have actually inflicted some type of trauma on you, Libra. And you may have had to block them for your own sanity because of the mind games. It's like you had to cut this person away, cut the bullshit down for your own sanity. I just heard the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Maybe they said something like that to you before. 
So now that they have the courage, because I feel like they're building the courage. When you walked away, it kind of like developed them emotionally or they matured emotionally because now they want to come in and and surrender to you they looking at you as the divine um libra male or female they shouldn't have played all those damn games you know they cause a lot of conflict and misery you know but it was like they were hoping that these kind of manipulation or mind games would somehow attract you or kept you playing but you abandoned it you you let that shit go and it's like wow you putting all that time and energy and you just left they were heartbroken but they did not say anything they were tight-lipped about how heartbroken they were and they could have you know you know, this, this manipulation could be anywhere from not communicating, being violent, being a snob, being aggressive, and even deception. So they may have been doing all up, all the above when you try to offer them um, the, your love and offer them all of these. Could be inspirational. You was very inspirational to them, but they would, they kept playing a lot of games. They kept thinking that they were winning, but they were they received that empty victory when you said forget it. You may have um, did something to their ego with their strength there as well. Or maybe you fight back at this person and play them at their own game, and it's like now they're they're so attracted to you. The passion is going crazy. Yeah, some of you are like, no. So <clears throat> some of you are thinking about the wrong person. Somebody else is going to come back from the past and they're going to offer you this new beginning and it could possibly turn into true love. But there's a hint of deception, hey, and you may walk away from it, Libra. Or you may feel like it's deception, hey, and totally just dip out from it. Let's get some more cards. Yeah, you may feel like it's a disaster or you may feel like this is a lost cause. So let's see, because I feel like this is a breakthrough. These two cards is like messing up the whole deal. Oh, my God. Maybe they're going to explain to you why they were doing the things that they did, why they were lacking in communication. It's like they may explain their truth and you may just sit there and listen and they may feel like you're you just over it you let it go <laughs> i just heard it's cold without you libra and i keep hearing baby don't go i keep hearing that same phrase for like the whole week the mess <clears throat> sorry the message of the confirmation is coming in here So some of you may want an explanation on why this person did what they did to you. And when you got that, when you get that information or that truth, you're going to have closure and you're just going to move on. And maybe that's the win-win situation is having that closure with this person, knowing that what they did would had nothing to do with you. It could have all been from trauma that they experienced as a child or something that was inflicted on them. I just saw the strength card again, double Leo. Or this may be you, all right? So we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out here. So this may be a fated event. You guys may have been destined to be in each other's life. I know some of you are just like, ugh. But that's how it is sometimes, especially when you surrender to divine. You are open or receptive to any kind of um, lesson. And it, sometimes it comes back as a former lover. Now, I'm going to read something that I channeled this morning. And it says, before you let your loneliness take you back into a toxic situation or relationship, remember this once the love bombing stops, you were, you're going to feel far lonelier in the relationship than you had before. So some of you remember that if this person, um, comes back in or you try to reach out to someone because you feel lonely and the love bombing comes down really heavy, know that it's, it's very temporary and you're going to feel extra lonely. You're going to feel lonelier, far more lonelier than you did before. So just keep that in mind. Um, the wheel of fortune. Now, what am I seeing here? 
All right, so this may be a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. So what I'm getting right now is that this may be a neighbor, or this was somebody from your neighborhood, your childhood neighborhood. A lot of communication is going to come in with this person. This could even be a sibling that's coming back into your life to talk to you. This is just a channel message. So this person may have siblings that came between the both of you. Maybe a sister, a brother, an auntie. Some type of family member came between the both of you and influenced this person to send mixed signals towards you. And I feel maybe that person may try to reach out to you to talk to this person on their behalf because they may lack the confidence to do so. But it's a lot of learning lessons that was established here. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, so let's get some more. Because I feel like Something is going to be unlocked here. So like somebody may have closure and that may give them the, the, um, it may release them to move forward, to ascend as well. Tell me more about, ooh, there's the ace of pentacles in reverse. Ouch. My gosh. <laughs> didn't I ask, didn't I pray for that ace of pentacles and now it came up in reverse? Are you kidding me? So some of you may have small amount of money that's coming through to your bank account. Um, and, okay, so somebody's going to return, but it's not going to be for the long term. It's nothing long term, hey? Yeah. Oh, no. So this is going to fail. This is not going to end well because, yeah, you may know that this is not going to end well. And you're going to walk away after you get what you needed to know about what's, what's what or what happened between the both of you. I feel for a lot of you, it's going to give you closure and you're just going to leave. Because with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, that is signifying that this is a lost opportunity. There's a lot of financial delays. So this person may live away from you. They may need to fly on a plane to get to you. And this is where the mixed signals could have came from. But because they lack in money, they broke. This is a broke's player. So if they're lacking money, they wouldn't be able to, to um, fulfill the promises that they, they, they're telling you. But they're still very attracted to you. They have a lot of passion. They're dying to reconciliation. Reconcili blah, 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 blah. Recon they're dying to come back into your life, Libra. They want to talk to you. They want you to share their love with you. But again, it's nothing long term. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse... Yeah, this it's like it's they know it's going to take a lot of hard work or, you know, it's going to take a lot of hard work to get back into your good graces. But they're not going to be able to do it, even though it sounds promising. The beginning sounds promising. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, the ending result is not going to be there. That's why we have it in reverse. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought this was going to be a different outcome, Libra, but maybe it was just to let you know that this person still cares about you. They still wish that you were in their life. But with the Knight of Wands in reverse, this person brings destruction. And maybe that's why we have the Tower card there. This person may be out of control or they may speak wildly or do things wildly this person is a coward this person could be a brooks player even potentially a a criminal they're trying to steal your heart didn't i tell you that when chris breezy said um when chris breezy said that he he want he doesn't want a sip of your your cup he wants to drink from it he wants to steal your heart no baby yeah this per this person is a very conflicted individual with the five of swords and the eight of cups they cause a lot of conflict and confusion and dip out this person may be a, de a destination addict they fly a lot their 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 desires is totally 
up in the clouds it's unrealistic this person misses you but they could be a follower i feel like it's definitely somebody in their family that came between the both of you they were influenced they were they followed everything this person said and if it's not a family member it's a close friend that they consider a family member someone that they trust a confidant that they trust to tell them about you libra you may be not fucking with this person at all you're welcoming new love and and new um interactions with different people and they may be seeing that they may be seeing how a lot of people are attracted to you and the the passion is just brewing in this person's heart i surprised they even have a heart but things ended between the both of you it was a loss so Libra, if this person comes back in your life, again, with all that love bombing shit, this person is a coward. They don't have the money. And if they have money, it's not enough to fulfill any promises that they may be telling you. Hmm. Uh, what? Yeah, I feel like they're going to be trying to move too fast. Like I said, if they come in and they try to love bomb you or try to move too fast, try to move the reconciliation too fast, or they're doing or saying too much, they lack commitment. They lack this, the hard work and the effort and the money to make this happen. But this is coming back around for you to close it out, um, Libra. You need to release this person. Like if this person comes back in, this person may be frustrated because of the because of the past delays between the both of you. Their their energy scattered, a very confused individual, very deceitful. And this is why you walked away in the first place. You did the right thing, but this person is going to try and tempt you again because they see a win-win outcome with you. You have to look at this person with loving eyes. You have to really have a deeper understanding of this person so you don't fall for their tricks because I feel like they have a lot of things that they want to tell you to melt you like butter, but everything is canceled. It's nothing that this person could do to come towards you. They don't have the stamina the spiritual stamina with the strength card, they don't have the effort uh, or the hard work to get you to get where you at, Libra. You may have gave this person leniency in the past because of whatever situation was between the both of you, but you built a, you, you allowed yourself to take part in the building of a, found, a faulty, a fake um, attachment. <laughs> This person is a show off and you need to be careful, Libra, that you don't get sucked into this bullshit because you, you have new love around you. You have opportunities of new love around you, but it's like you waiting on this person to tell you their damn truth on what happened, why they behave like how they behave, but it's due to somebody that they were listening to. This person is a follower and they may be following your trail because you're so sexy you're so good you winning out here you always win so even when this person um betrayed you or they played all these mind games you still won they got the the shitty end of the stick they got the false victory so we have beast moan this person might come in like hasty and like all over the place talking fast texting fast as fast as they come in the fast as fast as they leave libra you already know you already know, and one of my cards fell in the ground. I'm not even looking at it. We're going to put that right back in the deck. Yeah, you already know, Libra. You don't want this stale energy. Tell them you want new things. You're stepping in new shit. <laughs> oh, no. Pregnancy. So this person may want to get you pregnant. Didn't I say that? They may want to have a girl. Or they could see themselves having a baby girl with you that looks just like you if you're a Libra queen that's watching. This person has a lot of children and family issues that they have to deal with, possibly health issues. And this is something that they uh, run around over. They don't tell you. If I knew... If I knew what I know now, I would choose different. They have a lot of regrets and they're still learning, but it's like they can't resist coming towards you or they're trying to resist coming towards you. 
my heart needs work. This person is not a match for you, Libra. Even if you care about this person, you know deep down that this person is a lot of trouble. It's a life partner. Oh, they have a lot of bad-minded people around them. See, show me your heart your heart, and I will show you mine's first move. They want you to make the first move. They're not brave enough. This could be a life partner that's still on their journey to um, maturity. Life partner could also mean your twin ray or your twin flame. Doesn't have to be, though. It's just someone you may have thought was your, your person. That was it for you. You thought that was, yeah, see? Oh, this person... They think that they had to hurt you and you had to hurt them to know what this was worth. Oh, bad mind keeps coming out. This person is very bad mind. They want to know where you're at. Where are you? Where are you? Libra? Come back. <laughs> They're concerned. Who are you giving your attention to, Libra? Ooh. Ooh, I don't like this reading. There's someone else. They're probably asking if there's someone else or they have someone else that they're um, flirting with or dating with. Oh my God, it's a blessed union. What's going on? Libra, I don't think that's what it is. I think that when this person tells you you're in my dreams, I think that when this person tells you what's up, you're gonna have closure. Let's do business. This person wants to make money with you because they in, they're not winning. They're surrounded with a lot of bad-minded people and they're living in the shadow realm. Um, could be a lot of uh, toxic behavior. This person could even be someone that's... Um, This person has a lot of work to do on themselves. They need to make up their money. They need to get their money together. They need to get their spiritual stamina together. They need to get their ducks in a row and stop being a damn follower. Um, we have you're in my dreams, telepathic communication. So they may be trying to reach out to you telepathically and you may be blocking them or just trying to keep yourself busy. But there's a blessed union. We saw the life partner as well. So Libra, I don't, I don't know if it's this person per se, but I do feel like you have a life partner and a blessed union in your midst. You have a win-win situation on your midst. And you may need to just let this person f go. You may need to release this person or release them out of your, your aura or your energy field. You may need to just cut cords with this person and move on with your life. Because, yes, it was faded, but it was like the tower is, hey, so it's like destruction, it's like it fell apart. It's it's a lost cause. Or this may be past energy and this may be the future energy when the wheel of fortune turns. I don't know, you guys, because I'm not liking this person's energy. And it's almost like the cards is saying that. It's almost like they're saying that this person may change or do a 360 with the Wheel of Fortune. Like right now they're at the bottom. But if you guys had some type of clarity or closure, it's a possibility for them to change. But look at the cards with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, you guys. My family is at home. So you're going to hear a lot of talking in the back. I don't even think they know I'm recording. So you guys, leave me a testimony, comment in the comment box below, and let me know if this resonates because we have the Ace of Pentacles that I pray for, that I asked for, and it came up in reverse, talking about this person does not have the money. They have money, but it's not enough. And um, they're still learning lessons. They're still going through a karmic cycle. And... Libra, I don't think you want to be a part of that, even though they may offer you a very promising beginning. There's no promising end or results to it. This person is very scattered. This could be a criminal. This could be somebody that's want to steal your heart. This could even be an ex-lover that wants to hurt you so you're blocked off from new love, new potential true love as well. So go on, big up yourself in the comment box below if you're a Libra king, Libra queen. Holla if you heard me. I'm going to be sending out emails tomorrow. I do have a doctor's appointment with my son. So um, turn around time for personal readings. It's been pushed back a little bit more simply because I want to be in the right state of mind to read your cards clearly and precisely. All right. So check me in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.